Black Hornets designed for surveillance uh, for themselves on the ground as infantiers. So therefore, we need to get eyes into any VPs, vulnerable areas that is, or into compounds or anything uh, to rise our occasion. Or we'll, we're not, we don't deem safe. We'll get the uh, Black Hornet up. We've got three cameras basically. Uh, it's got one on the eyes, one on the nose, and one on the mouth. The one on the eyes looks like directly out the front. The one on the nose will give you a 45 degree angle and the one on the mouth will look directly below the black hornet. So it'll give you three different camera angles at any one time. It's also got a camera in there so it gives you stills. So if in that compound yeah, you want to take a snap or anyone in there to then for evidence for future ops or anything like that, basically you take a snap, where the crosshairs are on the camera will give you a 10 figure grid of that location just in case how was to happen out on the ground and you need to call in anything at that time you then got a 10 figure grid to then call in aggressive fire. No, I'm not a I'm not a big fan of toy helicopters out like that. I'm a bit too old. However, using this is no different to playing on an Xbox, playing on a PS3 with the controllers, you know. Most kids these days and most people are all fear of Xboxes and PS3s. So if you can operate one of them, you can operate a black hornet. Charging it'll charge back in the space station when you put the black hornet to sleep. However, you get 20 minutes flight time on it. So, in an ideal world, five minutes to get onto the task, five to eight minutes on task with the surveillance, and then five minutes to then return the black hornet back. However, once the black hornet knows, because it's got a database in there, that it's running low, it will then ask you on the display panel if you want to return to home. Returning to home is meaning the base station and it will come within one metre of that base station and land on the ground next year.